M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Ulaphone 20 WT. The WT stands for walkie talkie. Now I've got this device. Overall, it's, it's a nice solid device, it works well and, and runs quite a new version of Android. And DMR does work, but the problem is that there are uh, there is only one time slot on DMR. And also when you try and enter a repeater frequency, so with a different receive and transmit frequency, the app, the PTT sort of radio app inside um, is not putting in the split. Now there is a way around it. You can try create two separate channels and just quickly change channel when you're receiving and, and transmitting and most of the time we're receiving, but that's the real pain. So the obvious fix is for Ulaphone to make a new ROM. Now they have got a new ROM and it's an EU ROM here, May 2023 but I'm not sure if it fixes it and I'm too scared to actually load it. There is a, a, a string here um, of, uh, of conversation on this site here, which I think is XDA and I've been reading it and many people have been trying to get around this. Now, one of the ROMs that Ulaphone have made for the world, for, for non-EU does work. It gets rid of it. You can add a shift and you do have two time slots, but it says here that as of September 2023, that the ROM, the ROM has not been made to fix the EU problem. So I'm looking here at this ROM, and if we go to information here, it says modify 28.23, and says it, and we can download it. It's not a problem. I have downloaded the ROM here, as you can see, and this has to be installed, uh, you know, in the correct way that ROMs are installed. Uh, if you look there, you've got the MT6789 scatter file, all that. And if you've ever seen that system, um, it, it, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a system you definitely need to learn uh, before you do it. And these are all the files that you get. And the scatter file is the one, I, if I remember, I, I have actually done this, but it's such a long time ago. You've got to be careful not to brick it. I'd rather wait for a new ROM. The good news is for non-EU owners is that this does actually fix the problem. So I'm going to put a link in, if I go back one here, and look at the different, yeah, non-EU version here. And you'll see there, that one's dated, now oh, it says opened by me, dated April. I know it's dated April, but it is a, apparently this ROM does work for outside of EU. So this might help someone who's got one of these devices. And I'm pretty sure mine is the the Europe version because I, I would have selected that for the to make sure I get all the correct phone items. I will look actually. Uh, there must be a way of checking. So why buy a phone like this? Well, it's got a built-in radio and a very good Android, a PTT. It works uh, on DMR, hopefully with the bugs fixed. And camera you can use it as your main phone it's very rugged you know you can get you can bang it around and get it wet and it works and it's got a very nice screen on it no problems with buying it it's just at that part of it where you the you know the basically the the ptt app has these bits that are missing that are incomplete is a bit of a pain because you know 250 300 pound you want it to fully work so thanks for watching my channel if someone can help me on this and i'm going to I will teach up myself how to load a ROM. I have done it before and remind myself, but I don't want to do it because it is a way of brick. You can brick your radio permanently to the point where it has to go back to the factory or really it's scrap by the time you've done all that. And I don't want to do that. Uh, so thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps the non-EU people. 7-3, all the best.